Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and guess what? As you can probably tell from the thumbnail and the title, I am going on a vacation. I have been alluding to this trip within my last few vlogs. The video that I posted, I think it was my last video at this point that I posted, I showed you guys the whole process of me glamming, prepping, getting all the things done, all the appointments, the hair, the nails, the tan, the everything. So check out that video if you wanna see all of the personal prep that I went through. But along with that, I spent most of today um, doing all of the safety prep, I guess you could call it, the COVID testing and all those things and making sure that I am following all the guidelines as strict and as safely as possible because first things first, I understand that we are still in a pan seared salmon. We are still in a Panda Express. We are still in a panorama, okay? I understand that, but my friends and I, we are going by the book. We are doing everything in our power to be as safe and as considerate of others as well as possible. I just got done with all of my COVID testing hoopla. I'm also halfway vaccinated at this point. I got the first shot. I wasn't able to get the second shot in time for the trip, but at least I got the first shot out the way. And I have actually done three COVID tests in the past like 24 hours basically because I did my first COVID test and that was supposed to be the only only thing that I needed but for some reason the test came back as like oops sorry error there was something wrong with your swab we can't get any results off of this test you need to redo it and I was like what the heck so literally today at the last minute we leave tomorrow today at the last minute I had to run around and try to find somewhere else that I could get another test so I ended up getting a rapid test this afternoon which I got my results back pretty much immediately I am negative of course and then I also got another PCR test a whole bunch of hoopla that y'all don't care about but just know I literally got tested today I'm negative I have all the paperwork and documents to show it, as well as everyone who is going on this trip with me is also in the same boat in terms of either they've been fully vaccinated or they just got tested and we are staying in our own little tested quarantined group. By the time you guys are watching this video, I will have already went and I will already be back home. So anything that you might be saying in the comments is probably already too late. So I just, uh. anyways, as far as um, Zaya is concerned, my mom picked her up. I had all her stuff all packed up, ready to go. She is going to be having a nice little vacation in a sense with Grammy. And yeah, so I am going to, did I already say this? I'm going to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is the destination and it's going to be myself, Daisha, Age, Sadie, Kanisha, Rel with some bonus people who just so happened to be going to the same place at the same time. It wasn't even supposed to be this whole group at the beginning, but it just so happened to work out this way that Taylor and her husband Lando will also be there, as well as Miss Vicky Logan and her husband Cameron, as well as another couple who I know from social media, but I haven't gotten to meet them yet, Wanda and Lo. So it's gonna end up being there's six of us plus two, that's eight, plus two, that's 10. 12, kind of 12 people all together that kind of all know each other that are all gonna be in Puerto Rico at the same time. These are my best, best friends, y'all. So I'm super excited because this is really, this might be like, besides when I did my birthday trip to Miami, which some of you guys may remember that, that was like a fun trip that I did with my closest friends. Other than that, I feel like I haven't really done like super, you know, cool trips with my my closest friends. This feels like one of the first times that we're all kind of really able to like get together and do this. So we've all been super excited. We've been count we've been planning this for months. We've been counting down the days. Um, we're not just like, oh, let's just randomly go to Puerto Rico and I don't care, let's just turn up. Like, no, this has been planned. This has been highly, highly thought about for a long time. That is what's going on. So it is 5.30, we leave tomorrow morning, very early in the morning. The plan for this evening is that the six of us are going to link up at Daisha's place. Daisha lives in Austin now, and she actually lives the closest to the airport out of all of us. So we're all going to link up at Daisha's place tonight, have a little sleepover tonight because we have to get up so early to go to the airport. We thought, why, why not all just be together the night before? And from there, we will be on our way to Puerto Rico. 
cool. So I have to just pack everything up. I did a good job of kind of pre-planning and pre-shopping. Like I said, this trip has been in the works. Y'all don't understand how long we've been counting down and prepping and planning for this trip. So I've been doing a little bit of shopping here and there over the past like month or so. So this is like all the stuff that I ordered and I'm kind of already like you know put it together and laid it out on my little clothing rack even down to the airport outfit and everything the shoes i got like new sandals and everything and i also ordered some new travel stuff from amazon so i wanted to definitely show y'all this stuff because a lot of times when i travel i literally just kind of throw everything in my suitcase at the last minute and it's like super unorganized and not good but for this trip i wanted to be a little bit more put together so i got a new carry-on duffel bag this is from amazon super cute really pretty color this is going to go inside of my carry-on it is a pillow and blanket in one so it's a pillow like this it even has a little thing that you can like clip it on to something when you unzip it there's like a whole little plush blanket inside that you can use on the airplane and i like to be cozy wear a blanket family in this household so i got this from amazon i'm gonna bring in that i also got this which is really gonna come in handy this is to pack your jewelry so it has all these different little compartments where you can like clip your necklaces on so they don't get tangled up separate out your stuff put your rings just to make sure everything is protected and like I said not getting tangled or lost I really needed this because I always throw my jewelry basically in a ziploc bag and by the time I get to my destination it's just one big ball of mess so that's cute it also matches the aesthetic then I also got this LED mirror so it unfolds and you just fold it back like this and it's got a light da -da -da -da, so that you can get ready do your makeup you know whatever you need to do wherever you need to do it which having something like this is so necessary when you're going on a group trip so that you're not fighting over mirror space and a well-lit area to like do your makeup and stuff i feel like that's always an issue in hotels is like they don't have enough mirrors or enough lights or whatever so i'll have this so i know i'm good no matter what and then if bougie would get out of the way sir sir why do you have to be sitting right on the thing? Thank you. These are a set of packing cubes that are also from Amazon. I went for the, you know, the theme with the pink. This is a cute little leopard print. Um, I haven't taken them all out yet, but there's multiple little cubes like this. You just kind of help you pack your stuff and separate it out like day by day or outfit by outfit. You can put it in its own little thing. It even came with this, which is like for your shoes so that you can zip your shoes up in here so that like if your shoes are dirty, they don't touch your clothes and stuff. So I'm gonna be using this to pack more organizationally. And yeah, I ordered a bunch of shoes and clothes and stuff, which I will maybe try to like link some stuff down below in the description box of this video, but also definitely check my Instagram because I'll definitely be posting like to my feed and to my stories and like telling you guys where everything is from and tagging everything and linking everything so yeah as far as the outfits go pretty much just stay tuned and i'm just gonna be using my old faithful little crusty dusty rose gold suitcase that i've had for a while now she's honestly quite beat up she's been to a lot of places and it's about time to replace her but i thought let's get one more good trip out of her and then we'll probably replace her i got another thing for packing as well i know y'all are like we don't want to see the packing we want to see the uh actual trip let's get to the lituation we gonna get to the lituation just don't worry about it this is important now y'all need to know how to pack okay i got this from amazon which is a really nice makeup or cosmetic case black marble and it's like got these hard dividers so your stuff doesn't get all like broken or whatever to keep it like more safe and then it's got a place to put your makeup brushes in here and keep those protected, an extra zipper pouch here. And it's pretty big and spacious, so I am gonna be able to bring this and not worry about my makeup like exploding or breaking because I've definitely had that problem before, like palettes exploding, foundation bottles cracking. So yeah, this is gonna be really good for my makeup. Maya was here working earlier and I had her wash all my makeup brushes. So I can choose some freshly washed makeup brushes to bring with me. And yeah, so I just need to finish packing up all of my stuff and head over to Daisha so we can have our little group sleepover. And I'm sure that in and of itself is gonna be lit. <laughs> Cause I know we're all just so hyped up. Like you don't understand. I know I keep saying this, but we are all so freaking excited. And it's only gonna be a three day trip. It's a really quick trip actually, but it's all we could afford in the sense of like time like we're all so busy 
and working and we have kids and things like that so like we can't just be taking these week long two week long trips we're like let's just fit in a short little three day trip if that's all we can do that's fine we're thankful for it so yeah we're super hyped up for this little three day trip uh, we are definitely going to be making the most of it so that's why like we're starting tonight at Daisha's crib the, the trip starts tonight till I step my foot back in this house it is vacation mode all right so now all my outfits are completely planned out like very very detailed starting with tomorrow morning my airport outfit then we when we get there i have a beach look then a dinner look then a after dinner look if we end up doing anything else after dinner and then just like pajamas <laughs> and then all the shoes that go with each thing. Um, and then I have a couple different bags that I'm gonna bring. I also went through and painstakingly took off all the tags off of everything because almost all the clothes were new with tags. You know how they have the, these little annoying strings that like hang out? So I cut everything off so that all the clothes are fully prepped for me to just throw them on on the trip. So now I'm going to organize everything into these packing cubes to kind of either organize it by, it'll probably be best to just organize it by day, like everything for one day in one cube next day in the next cube just so that you know everything's kind of stays organized how I have it laid out here I love this jewelry organizer travel thingy y'all this is exactly what I needed I have all my necklaces clipped separately so they don't get tangled it's all gold everything of course but I just like to have options you know switch it up for each outfit so this is gonna be perfect and then just zip it up this was just what i needed so it is now 10 o'clock at night adriana is here hi friend um change of plans nobody is going to daisha's apartment like i said earlier we are all Raven said my whole name that's so rare hello it's me from the future just want to explain what just happened the clip got cut off but basically as i said we had all planned to meet up at daisha's house the night before to have like a little turn up little sleepover leading up to the morning that we had to actually leave for the airport. However, everyone was running into issues trying to prepare for the trip. I wasn't the only one who had issues with like getting a COVID test and things like that. People were trying to make sure their kids were squared away, still trying to pack, still trying to get haircuts, all types of hoopla. Nobody was ready at the time that we agreed on to meet up at Daisha's house. So we just said, you know what? We're not meeting at Daisha's house. We still need the rest of the night to get ourselves together. So we'll just meet at the airport in the morning. Age was at my house because she lives in Dallas. So she came from Dallas. And then, yeah, we were just still all packing and just, just kind of in shambles. So unfortunately, the fun little sleepover moment got canceled. But we're like, let's just meet at the airport later. Is it currently 3 o'clock in the morning? Yes. Are we still awake? Yes. Did most of us just finished packing and getting ourselves together a few minutes ago? Also, yes. Am I also making a Caesar salad right now? <laughs> yes, does any of this make any sense? No. But yeah, we have to leave for the airport. Age and I have to leave here at about 4.45 a.m. So two hours from now, I scheduled an Uber to come pick us up already. Hopefully there's no issues with that. In the meantime, I'm hungry. We ate Whataburger at about nine, but I'm hungry again since it's been so long since then. And I had the salad in the fridge and I know it's gonna go bad while I'm gone if I don't eat it now. So I'm just having just a nice three o'clock in the morning salad before I go to the airport. And I am fully packed. I'm very organized. This is probably the most organized I've ever been for a trip ever in my life. And everything is good to go. So I'm just gonna eat my salad and then I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna get dressed for the airport and I'm not gonna go to sleep. And we're just gonna go, we're just doing a full all-nighter. And I will sleep probably in the Uber ride to the airport and I'll probably be able to sleep on the plane, which will be good. So I will see you when we're actually on the way. So update, at this point we should already be in the Uber heading to the airport, but guess what? I scheduled an Uber and the Uber driver decided to just ignore the schedule and leave at his own time. And also he said that he forgot to close his garage door. So he turned around and went back to his house to make it take even longer to get here. So we're waiting on the Uber driver, even though I scheduled it ahead of time for a certain time. The Raven single. <laughs> so we are, 17 minutes behind schedule at this point when we're already kind of cutting it a little close originally so <laughs> we're cutting it quite close and we still have an additional seven minutes until the uber driver gets here to pick us up it's gonna be okay everybody else is just now getting on their way as well slight shambles but it's gonna be okay um 
I will update you when we get to the airport. Made it to the airport. I'm with Sadie. Oh, and there's Kanisha. We made it. Where's Rel? Over there. Rel is here. Rel and Kanisha were on time like good citizens. Tell you all what's popping. It's your boy. My boyfriend. <laughs> Daisha and Age somehow got stuck in the back of the security line even though they were right behind us in the check-in line something there was some type of hold up with them so we're still waiting on them great news the final two have joined us we're here we made it we made it we got left behind. we fit the board the plane no man left behind and we got eight shots to take when we land she made me get rid of like another eight but oh, she, oh the lady did girl she was mean. She, she, she took our liquor. We are on the flight to Puerto Rico from Miami to Puerto Rico. Last leg of the flight. We made it. All of us in a line. I don't know if you can see the city and them over there. Hi. Almost there. We made it into an Uber. Mama, we made it. We are officially here. We are on our way to the hotel. Finally, literally look at the bags. Doop, 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 doop. And then the trunk is, you can't even see the trunk because it's so full. So it's the next morning, y'all. We arrived in Puerto Rico yesterday. A few things happened. Number one, our flight getting here was delayed an extra hour. So we got here an hour later than we expected. We were already gonna be getting here a little bit like late. Like we were probably not gonna be getting to our hotel till like five was the original plan. So we were like, okay, maybe we'll have a little bit of time to like go to the beach and then go to dinner and then do whatever at night. Didn't get here until later. When we got here, we were informed that Puerto Rico just yesterday i believe was put under a curfew restriction meaning that everything 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 closes at 9 p.m and you have to be in your hotel room not can't even be on the beach can't even be on the sidewalk can't even be in the lobby can't even be nowhere but in your hotel room by 10 p.m after that it's nothing it's like you better just be in your room and go to bed so that's kind of a bummer not that we were necessarily trying to like go out and party at the clubs or whatnot because obviously you know it's still corona time like we can't just fully do regular stuff but like we would at least like to have a late dinner, you know, take our time getting back to the room, hang out at the beach at night, hang out at the pool at night. Like that's what we were planning on doing. That's what we came here to do. So finding out that like everything is done by 9 p.m. 9 p.m. That's early. Like that felt like it cut our whole trip in half almost. Like everything stops at nine every day. So that was kind of a bummer. Also, when we got here, we were like, uh, this room does not look like what we expected it to look like on the website the hotel was like so nice five-star hotel expensive and when we got here it just was it just wasn't hating i mean the room itself is like fine or whatever but we don't have um because we got two rooms for the group of us the other room looks nicer than ours and they should be equal because they're the same room same price same everything ours is like janky so like for example this mirror in the bathroom is supposed to light up like how mine are at home and the other room theirs lights up ours does not like where is the light hello i can't even, it's not even like to do makeup it's like i can't even see period to make sure my face is clean so that's unacceptable the bathroom is so tiny like it did not look like this on the website look look how close the door is to the toilet look at that you can't even be in here and close the, you can't sit on the, like, oh my God. It's so tiny in here. The door is like all dirty and rusty. Like it's just not as nice as you would think for the price. Cause this was not cheap at all. So, and then also too, like, it seems like a whole bunch of wasted space up here in the front. Like they didn't even give us a full length mirror anywhere in here. We need a full length mirror to see our outfits. Like where, 
why didn't they put a mirror right here? The other room has one. So we're like, what's wrong with our room? Our room is missing everything. Age is in the bed laughing at my review. It's not me being picky. It's like, we're, we did not get the stuff that we paid for, period. So, Daisha is currently down at the front desk requesting another room. Oh, okay, so real quick, speak of the devil. Guys, there's a room, 933. He gave me the key so we can go look at it and make sure we like it. 933? Where's yeah. that? That's Ninth the only floor. one available. Damn. <laughs> uh. So, and now they only have this one room available on the ninth floor, so we won't be on the same floor with everyone else. Please hold. Okay, so we're on our way to go check out the replacement room to see if it's any better. And then we're gonna have to pack up all our shh stuff so the thing is with the curfew it just rushes everything because everything closes like all the food and stuff so you're not gonna be able to eat if you don't make sure that you fit in your breakfast lunch and dinner earlier in the day along with whatever else you're trying to do you're gonna be stuck so last night we were struggling to even be able to barely get in anywhere to eat dinner. So today, we were like, okay, we're gonna wake up super early so that we'll just start our day super early. That way we'll like be able to have dinner early and have an early night. The door's not okay. shutting on you right here. Have, okay, so here's the, the... This looks a lot better. This looks better. We got the, see this we one we were missing. Like we didn't have this mirror in our room. And Let's make that. sure the mirror light works versus the switch. See, this didn't work in our room. This bathroom is a little bit more, seems more spacious. This seems a little more spacious because we only had one chair in our room, right? Oh, you yes. an ocean. And a slightly, oh, and a better view, a much better view. We did not have this view in our room. Okay, period. Yeah, yeah sorry. We can't be on the same floor with the other half of the group. <laughs> Sorry. We have, yeah, this is so much better. Okay, so now we're having to pack up our stuff so we can switch to that room. And also just trying to hurry up because now it's already getting close to 7 a.m. We were trying to start our day at 6 a.m. in order to have an early day because of the curfew and everything, like I said. So it's just throwing us off. And I didn't vlog at all yesterday because of so much stress and hoopla. Like we were really stressed trying to even find somewhere to eat. Uh, but once we get this room situated, we can get ready, go down to the beach, have a tiny bit of beach time before we have to go to breakfast. And then we have some activities and stuff planned. So we're really hoping that today is gonna to be a better day. We're claiming it. We're claiming, <laughs> manifesting that today is going to be a better day, that we're gonna be able to fit in what we wanna fit in before the curfew. And now we have a better room, so things are looking up. But I know y'all in the comments are probably saying, I told you so. Y'all probably saying, see, that's why they need to go. That's why they need to go nowhere. Cause it's not the time to be traveling. Okay. I didn't know. I wasn't aware of all these extra issues. We gonna make it work. So today is a new day. Finally ready and heading down to the beach for the first thing of the day. I'm like the last one heading down. This is my swimsuit. We gotta go relax, take a few pics for the gram, and then we really don't have much time, especially since we got delayed this morning, and we have to uh, go to brunch or else we won't have time to do everything else today. So I did some little slight little natural makeup. Okay, we are ready for brunch. This is the fit. Satin blouse from Zara, Levi denim shorts, Steve Madden sparkly rose gold heels, and some gold jewelry, of course. Here's a look. Kanisha. Hey. <laughs> look at my cute friends. Look at my, get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> look at my cute friends. <laughs> Not my hand shaking because I haven't eaten. So we just arrived to brunch location plan B because plan A was talking about a three hour wait because there was a party of 18 who came right before us plus a couple of other big parties. Our efforts in trying to get here early and get a table at this popular brunch spot did not work. 
Well, we didn't come early enough. Yeah, we didn't come early enough. Hello, it's me again from the future. Just wanted to chime in and explain further and just clarify what we mean when we said that we didn't get there early enough. Cause we got there early. We got there at like 9 a.m. Which we thought was early cause the place opened at eight. You know, what I'm used to, you go to brunch at noon. So we thought nine was plenty early, wrong. When we arrived, we were told that we should have gotten there at 7.30 in the morning just to even have a chance of being seated. Granted, it was a popular brunch spot, but also there was just an influx of tourists in Puerto Rico this particular weekend, which I don't know why, because it wasn't any special weekend, but for some reason, everybody and their mama was in Puerto Rico that weekend. So there was a lot of crowds. And with the curfew being at 9 p.m., the 9 p.m. curfew means you need to be leaving the establishment and heading back to your hotel or your home at 9 p.m. So that means that the places stop accepting guests at like 7.45. So like 7.45 is your cutoff time to really be trying to do anything. With that in mind, that squishes your whole day earlier in the day because 745 is like the cutoff so all these crowds of people were all like rushing to try to eat and go to all the restaurants it just was a lot of hoopla i got some comments on instagram asking like what was my experience with everything going on blah 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 and this was the experience a lot of hoopla and the curfew definitely caused problems because we had activities that we reserved for a certain time like jet skiing kayaking um, zip lining, those were reservations that we paid for in advance, booked in advance for a certain time on each day. So by the time we waited and got seated to eat breakfast, and then we had to make it there to do the zip lining, and then we had to find somewhere to eat lunch, and that was a lot of hoopla, and then the same thing to try to hurry up and eat dinner before 7.45 or whatever, and then, you know, having a shower and change your clothes in between, there just was not enough hours in the day. Like we were literally running and struggling and setting timers and alarms just to be able to like eat and do the one activity. And that was pretty much it. Like we did not really have any time to just sit and relax and enjoy the beach or, you know, walk around old San Juan and go exploring or go shopping or just sit down and have a drink somewhere. Like we did not have time. But we found another option. This is La Cafetera. Just a cute little smaller little brunch spot. And we do still have to wait an hour, but that's better than three hours because we don't have three hours to wait. Okay, we got activities to do. <laughs> so we're just gonna stand here and wait in the sun for an hour. <laughs> Take some fit pics in the meantime. Ooh, look at this beautiful stack of fat fluffy pancakes. Okay, so we went to brunch, then we came back. That was so good. Went the to the pancakes. Yeah, the brunch was really good. Got full, came back, went to the beach pool area real quick to take pictures, insert pictures here. The rest of our group, Ro, Kanisha, Age, and Daisha, they just left to go kayaking. Mm -hmm. But no Sadie water. and I, we are going- Feeling adventurous. Zip lining. I'm so excited. I'm excited. It Not looks I. really fun from the website. So right. zip lining through the rainforest to be exact. So we got our little like, Athletic little outfits Athleisure. on. Athleisure. What, what is this? Lounge. This is Opali. So we're just waiting for the driver to pick us up to take us to the oh zip God. line. Yes, I'm so excited. Where is he? Come on, Mario. I don't want to miss it. Lining place to have a little food and bar area up here while we wait. I think we might get a drink before we go. Here we go. You scared, Sadie? I'm kind of looking forward to the adrenaline rush. Is that toxic of me? <laughs> toxic? <laughs> All right, we are helmeted up, harnessed up. This is kind of heavy. It's kind of hurting me right here. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. So we have done two of the five zip lines so far. What do you think so far, Sadie? It's been amazing. It's really fun. It's not scary. It's not like you screaming going down. It's just like fun. You screamed? And three. Oh. I didn't scream. Ready? Yep. One, two, he didn't say it. It's hot though. We, this is a workout, hiking from the next one to the next one. I knew it was gonna be. Ooh, Lord.
We just finished the zip line. It was fun. It was a workout. Very Met a daddy. Very hot, very sweaty. Very <laughs> Sadie was flirting with the uh, tour guide. I'm gonna get his number. <laughs> Single and ready to mingle. And now we got some mango margaritas to cool down. We zip lined right into the bar. So right when you get off, order you a drink. It was good. Look who's here. She's on a vacation on though. Vacation. So she's a little separate from us. <laughs> she's around, she's around. I'm floating. <laughs> In and out. <laughs> okay, back from zip lining. This is the new outfit change. We're about to take a group pick, coordinating fun, bright colors. Hello, sunshine. We literally don't even have time to enjoy the beach. We're literally going down to take a picture behind the scenes, the true <laughs> reality. <laughs> today, I feel like. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna really just go to the beach and relax, but right now it's, it's for the picture. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but this is a look. <laughs> I'm waiting for the group in the lobby so we can go to brunch. We're gonna try and go back to the place we tried yesterday. It's 7.24 in the morning. Last time we got there at about 9.20. So we are doing better on time this time. We have a better chance of getting a table. It's still not guaranteed. I'm just waiting for the rest of the group to meet me in the lobby so we can go. Somehow I was the last person to finish getting dressed but the first person down here, here they come. God, you smell good. We, we really got here early, <laughs> early, early. We're gonna get we these milkshakes. <laughs> milkshakes? I mean, yeah, I'm, you yeah. know what I mean. <laughs> the special drink. This is a mojito mimosa with the po uh, popsicle in it. In real got one. And they got different flavors coming. Is it good? Mm -hmm. oh yes. Look at Looks it. good. Now you want to do this at the restaurant. Uh, okay, backstory. Let me explain this to the vlog. We did a challenge because we've been saying, not the da da da, not the this, not the that. We've been saying that so much. I was like, okay, let's do a challenge. I did not even realize. We started the challenge literally like three minutes ago. But I said, whoever says it first has to do 10 jumping jacks wherever we're at. I'm thinking it's gonna be later in the day. We're gonna be out and about. First person who said it has to do 10 jumping jacks. We thought she said it for a second. And then we let it then off. She, but we were like, okay, she didn't say it. And then she made it. a joke about well, it. But then, because we were like, oh, you're going to have to do jump jacks. She was like, not doing jump jacks. Yeah, so <laughs> then you had to do it, because you already lost. Uh, so we that was not a long. You, who told you to say that? Well, I did it. She did. She a real one. She felt followed so through with the. Uh, that's the end of the challenge. We got it. It's already done. Wow! Look at this ginormous. Look at for size reference. These big old dollars are with green. Yeah. Look at the crunchy flakes. It's a really cute bar next to the beach. They should got her all black look on. Oh, H has her beige look on. Raven is being a melanated mermaid. We finally made it to the beach. Actually here with a drink in hand. Actually like ready to have some real beach time for the first time. We have a few hours before H and I are gonna go to the jet, jet skis. skis. And the rest of the crew are doing a snorkeling thingy. We are still out here on the beach. The other half of the crew went to do their activity, but me, Kanisha, and Age are out here. We've been in the water, tanning, sitting, relaxing, pumping the dams. We just ordered some food. Oh, I got some little truffle fries, a little snacky snack on the beach. Mm. So we're gonna eat this snack. We have about maybe almost an hour left until Age and I are gonna go do our jet skiing. 
Okie dokie, Age and I are about to head out for our jet skiing excursion. Ready to go, switched into some new swimwear and our adventure sandals. <laughs> I'm excited, let's go. Made it to the jet skis, there they are, ready to go. sharing a little surf and turf um what's it called manchego yeah something like that something like i'm sorry if i'm butchering it the smash plantain with steak and shrimp it's my first time trying it it is our last morning in puerto rico we leave today we woke up kind of early so we could have a little bit of beach time before we have to check out and leave so it's like I think like 7.30 in the morning right now and I think we have to check out at like 11 and then kind of just head to the airport but we have a few hours to get a little bit more beach and pool time in. But here's my last little look. <laughs> I'll try to link everything like I said before. Um, I did get a little bit sunburned yesterday but it's, it's already like healing up. It wasn't too bad luckily. So I'm gonna make sure that I put my SPF on this time and try to get a little bit more of a tan and then we gotta go home. It's been real, but we are leaving the beach and we are heading to the airport. It's been real, it's been fun, but it's time to go home. It's time to go home. We got nice and toasty. Everybody nice and toasty and brown. And brown. But it's time to go. I'm sad. Okay, y'all, it's me from the future chiming in one last time to wrap up this vlog. If you made it this far, I know some of y'all are probably looking like, what kind of vlog was this? Like, I expected more. I expected more from the trip. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for it. I'm glad that we did it. We still got to have a little bit of fun. The zip line was fun, the jet ski was fun. We did have some good food, but overall I would say it was only about 40% the amount of fun and good times and relaxation that I was expecting or hoping to have. So that was definitely a disappointment. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, I wanted to come on here and give y'all a real review of specifically what it's like to go to Puerto Rico right now, but also just kind of what it's like to travel and try to take a vacation right now as things are kind of starting to go back to normal, but they're definitely not back to normal. So I just wanted to let y'all know. Um, also, I wanted to tell y'all to definitely go and watch Daisha's vlog. She's already posted her vlog, so if you have not seen her vlog of this trip, I highly recommend that you watch it because whenever I wasn't vlogging, she was. So she caught a lot of extra moments that were not included in this video at all, and she did a really good job of continuing to vlog through the stress. I, on the other hand, was just kind of like, you know what? This is too much. I'm just putting the camera down. Let me just try to put the camera down and enjoy this little bit of time that we do have. So honestly, I didn't do the best job of fully documenting the whole trip, but she did a good job of showing some other moments I didn't show. And just, yeah, y'all just gotta go watch her vlog to really get the full story. And then you'll see, you'll see what, what we talking about. But yeah, all in all, I'm grateful for the opportunity, but would I recommend it? right now no not really maybe just wait a little bit longer if anybody out there is planning a trip either just be very aware of what it's really going to be like or just wait a little bit longer that's that's my final statement